channel data bi sql so in today's uh, uh, interview question series right uh, this is the part 29 of amazon sql interview question series uh, even though you know this series is marked as a amazon sql interview question this sql concepts are applicable to any company right where you are interviewing for sql skills so any senior data engineer any bi engineer senior bi engineer solution architect role right all these concepts can be applied so i have made a uh, part 28 parts of this series which is there in a playlist i'll add this one also to that playlist and that playlist will be there in the description section so please don't forget to look at other videos and if you really like those videos and like this video uh, i highly encourage you to subscribe to my channel and press the like button so that you know i get uh, uh, so 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 you know i can get uh, the more videos out and that will help all of you So let's get started. So this particular table I have covered in the other videos, but uh, still I'll just go through this table one more time. Uh, so this table has is a job applicants dim, right? So what what it does is it gives you the job ID, it tells you which job type it is, and then it tells you how many applicants, right? Each applicant has applied to this job, and where those applicants are residing in which state of United States. Okay. So the question here that they are asking is display total number of distinct jobs for each job type. along with number of applicants applying to it right so it is saying that display the total number of distinct jobs for each job type right so whenever these kind of questions are asked right or any question i have i have made i have made this clear before also right you break it down what will go in the select clause what will go in the filtering what will whether there are joins needed in this case it's not because just one table and then uh, you need a group by you need a count right just just divide it into into different sections so that it makes it very easy to write a write a query right so here they are saying to display total number of distinct jobs for each job type so the here you see job type by each job type right for each job type that means you have to group by job type so there are only three different kind of job right remote hybrid and office right so for these what it is asking is for each job type display the total number of distinct jobs okay so these jobs right so jobs distinct jobs mean 10 20 30 40 right those are the job ids right along with the number of applicants applying to that job right so basically for this job how many applicants are applied applying to this job so basically you need a count of job as well as you need a count of the applicant right because it is saying how many jobs are basically uh there for each job type and for those jobs how many applicants are applying right so what happens is in that case what we need to do is we need to say select job underscore type right uh, right from clause so makes it easy for us to query the table uh right job type then you need to say count of job id right and then you need to do a count of number of applicant correct so it is saying right number of distinct jobs for job with the number of applicants applying to the job right so when you do this you need to do a group by because you used the count function right so you need to do the group by okay there is no filtering they have asked like they are not saying which kind of applicants or which kind of job so you don't need to do any filtering but you just need to do a group by okay So if you do this, hybrid has four job count, count has remote has sixteen and sixteen. So count is coming same and uh, this is coming same, right? So that that means it's not right, correct? So let's go and look at it, the hybrid job. So four count, four count, right? So let's look at the hybrid job. So hybrid, there is only one job, right? Because remember what they are saying, distinct jobs, right? So you need to say distinct job, correct? so that what what does that mean if you put a distinct that will only come one and this will be like 1 2 3 4 right so we need to put a distinct this is very important right don't forget this because otherwise your answer is wrong right so distinct is written that means we need to also write a distinct now you see now it's correct right so hybrid there is only four right office there is four and then remote there is 16 uh so there is another catch with that right so remote let's count the remote 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 
uh, the 16 is coming here but there is a catch you know uh, because you know for each of the so so two applicants can apply to one job right so the applicant can repeat right so let's look at remote job okay so let's just for simplicity let's write job underscore type is equal to remote I'm just trying to verify the thesis here, right? I mean, whether we are looking at the correct data or not and our answer is correct or not, right? So if you look at remote job, right? Uh, let's do order by applicant ID. So that way we get if there is any duplicates or not, right? So here you do see a duplicate. You see 313, 315, right? Now the question is, should we put distinct here also or not? So if we are going to put distinct, right, what will happen is, I think the count will change. It will not be 16. It will be 14, right? Because those two are duplicate, right? But the real question is whether we should be doing it or not, right? Because so they are asking us to group by group by only job type, right? Number of distinct job for each job type along with the number of applicants applying to the job, right? So they are not saying that for each job ID, right? Uh, for the, So they are saying that the total number of distinct jobs for each job type along with number of applicants applying to the job. So they are basically telling that for each job, how many applicants are there, right? So we don't need to put distinct right so here count of job distinct jobs total number of distinct jobs for each job type along with number of apply applicants applying to the job right so basically here they are not asking us to here they are not even though they are not asking us to break by count like you know break by the uh, uh, break by the job ID, right? So they are just telling job type, give me the distinct count. So we here we will have to put distinct because, and this will be the correct answer, right? Because what happens is in this one, there is a job type as hybrid, right? So only they are asking us to total number distinct of for each job types, right? Okay, so basically here we are not grouping by each job right job id here we are just doing count by the, the main grouping is happening at a job type so if main grouping is happening at a job type the count also should be at a job type level right so it should be 14 because two are duplicate right so basically when you say the remote job give me the number of total app, uh, applicant for the remote job you count ca can't count those two as, as two different app two, 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 two different applicant right the applicant is same and he has applied to remote job. So here the job type is remote. If they told us that, okay, for each job, give me the uh, count for each job, right? So let's say in this case, they would have said, uh, for each job type and each job, give me the applicant, right? Then it would have made sense. Then in this case, what you need to do is you need to put a job ID also, right? Group by. So in this case, so 10 has seven jobs, this has four and this has five. So if you do seven plus four, 11, 11 plus five is 16, right? And in this case, even if you apply the distinct, I don't think so it's going to make any difference because then you are segregating by job ID, correct? See, it has not made any difference. Seven plus five is, is 12 plus four is 16. Why? Because then you are breaking down by job ID, right? So even though there are two applicants for two different jobs, right? So if you see, even though there are the applicant uh, applying, one applicant applying for 13, one applicant applying for 10, since you broke it down by job ID, these two are counted at different levels, right? So their level is mattering, right? Because here the level is job ID. But in the question that was asked, the level was job type, right? So it really depends what what kind of level they are asking for, right? So in, in they asked by job for each job type, they said total number of distinct jobs, right? They're not saying, give me 
for each job type and job id how many applicants are there right in that case that case we need to write this kind of query right where it will say that for each job type these are the job ids and this is the count for each of the job ids right so uh, uh, so it this one was little bit tricky right you know uh, because what happened is they tried to confuse us right uh, so this thing is very important as a level is very important in this case the level is very very important because job type is there right so we need to group by job type so that's where you need to count distinct in both the case then only you will get the correct answer okay uh, so that is it for today guys uh, put a comment down below if there was any confusion in this video and I'll clear the confusion uh, but this was a little bit tricky because you know uh, there was a distinct involved here the way the data is structured right I mean you need to make sure you put distinct and um, uh, you know make sure that you put distinct uh, based on the question that is being asked right so that's it for today guys thank you so much please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like my videos